Hey guys, Base Shogun here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2010s Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dino Megazord and Deluxe Mix and Morph Titanus. So these guys came out, and this line was very weird. They had like dinos that uh, rangers, like ranger action figures that transformed into dragons, and a whole bunch of weird kooky stuff. It's kind of a cool line, if not a little bit cheap. All right, guys, let's get right into it. We're going to do individual mode. I'll show you Megazord mode. We'll go over Titanus carrier mode, and we'll wrap it all up, and I'll give you my final review. All right, it's morphin time. All right, let's see what we're working with here. So we start up with the red Zord here, the T-Rex, and it, this whole thing is a lot smaller than the original. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. I would say it's cheaper, but th these sets actually go for way more than they're worth for whatever reason. I guess they weren't produced as uh, heavily or for whatever reason, I'm not sure. So yeah, he has his legs don't, the knees, these lock up, which does affect the Megazord too. But yeah, it is what it is. You can open the mouth there. He does have the cannons. That's just a little decal on there. But you know what? Yeah, it does the job. It does the job. And we'll take a look at the saber tooth right here. And this one is extra basic. You know, the original was basic too. And this one just, you know, cheaps it out a bit. And this whole thing's maybe about 20 to 30% smaller than the regular one. Don't quote me on that, but that's just what I'm thinking. These uh, horns move around. Uh, at least they don't come off, so you won't lose them like the original. All right, and here is, we got the blue dino tank right here. And yeah, basic is as basic does. This doesn't flip up like in the original. It's just molded down like that. Horns don't come off, so you don't have to worry about losing them. And there is some nice molding there and some decals. Overall, nothing too special, but there's nothing wrong with it. The original was basic too. And here we are. Here is the bird right here. And this one was always super kind of funny, hokey and basic. And this one is no different. This front decal and these do look quite nice. And the red is quite bright and rather appealing to the eyes, actually, I gotta say. So that is what it is. And finally, we have the awesome mammoth right here. And this one's pretty good. I do miss the kind of chromed out the original had. But this one does fine. And I think out of all of them, this one probably looks the best as long as you know you're not looking at it from the back okay so overall those do leave something to be desired though but the original design is so good you know it is kind of fun to fiddle around with them though these are very basic you know there's a lot of gray plastic going around they do do the job pretty nice actually for what they are and at the price point i think they were at at the time as I said, they're a bit expensive now in the secondary market, unfortunately. But yeah, it's nothing special. I will say this is probably better quality than Hasbro's version of this one, and not the Zord Ascension project. So overall, it gets the job done, but it's not going to be knocking Aunt Connie's socks off when she comes over and sees your display cap. Let's get this guy morphed into Megazord mode and see how it holds up. Okay, here we go. We'll start with this guy right here, Sabretooth. And you know, super, super basic, kind of just like the OG one there. Almost no difference. Put the tail down and hey, we're looking pretty good. You thought that was easy? Check this out. Mmm, all right, we're ready to go. So yeah, if you can do the original, you can do this one, no problem. All right, let's get our T-Rex ready. Now this tail can go up here for now. These legs fold right in and then these can straighten out here. And once you do have them kind of torsoed up like this, you can just pull out his chest there and this dino head will go in, put the arms up there like that. And these horns can come out and you have them Pretty much dead to rights, good to yeah, Pretty go. much ready to go. When you put on uh, your mammoth there, this tail will clip in and hold true. Okay. So, and next up for this guy, head off. It will split open. I think you can see where we're going with this here. And 
just like the original it is satisfying to kind of hit that flick in there put the shoulder pads up and there you go we are looking good we're almost there guys and finally pretty much the easiest one tear off the bird's feet put his head back there and just tuck his wings up like that and we're ready to start building them so here we go yellow on the the left here my uh, looking at it my left these pegs here go right in none of the cool action of the original but that's fine next up we'll put his coat on here these pegs right into the side there one and make sure his tail is out of the way like i did not do that one click 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 hey here we go now we're looking pretty good now you can come around the back and the tail will click in perfect next chest piece here two tabs two notches boom all right the sword let's talk about the sword all gray boring plastic kind of like hasbro no chrome or anything special but what can you do the two feet from the bird can become cannons at the back here very nice and here is his shield for all to see <sighs> voila and they'll put all together i don't think it's going to be winning any toy of the year awards but it is pretty nice for what it is it does scratch that nostalgia itch and for articulation he has just about 360 degree arm movements he has absolutely zero leg movements except for kind of stressing the toy and going unnaturally forward so yeah he is a brick like the original not that i mind that but some people might so up next let's take a look quickly at the tank mode i'll show you the box art next as well as some of the cool things from this line you could do and then we'll do tetanus and finish off with the ultrazoid mode and now as you can see on the back of the box i don't own any of these but you could get these kind of weird side zoids with cheapo little figures you can make some like ridiculous long boy max and stuff there so, you know, it was pretty cool. And if you're a kid around 2010 and you didn't have the originals, you know what? Yeah, this would have been pretty cool. And here we have them in the Megazord tank mode. And this has always been my least favorite mode, even in the original Solo Chugokin, doesn't matter what kind. Or brand, it's just the way it's been for me. Not the biggest fan. And this one, it's not great, but it's not bad uh, either. You know, it definitely does the job. It maybe looks a touch better than it feels. And for display, uh, if you'd want a cheap alternative to one of your better Megazoids, well, this one wouldn't be it either because it's a bit expensive, but the uh, Hasbro one's good for and that. Now, having said that, taking a few cheap shots at Bandai here, overall it is what it is and if you got it for retail it's pretty fun and it's nice to fiddle with and introducing you know kids or newer collectors they can figure it out without maybe breaking an original all right guys i'm going to put this guy off to the side and let's take a look at the titanus okay guys here's the titanus and you know overall with all these stickers on here and this little bit of paint it's actually looking pretty good at first sight when you start fiddling around with it you know it does kind of yeah, start acting up a bit but hey that is all right and this guy's very expensive and a kind of rare oddly to find it took me a while after hunting one down to get one for a semi reasonable price so let's take a look at him here no battery powered it looks like they might have used like a Shrunken down mold, this is where the batteries would have went in the original, and they kept it there. No chains or anything for this guy, and he came with like four little, almost proto-Imaginax figures that you could go around, had a little, you'd put the figure in the back there and then do something with that, but I don't have them because uh, I wanted this guy for a decent price. Now, you may be noticing that the tail is missing, so for that, all you do is these two little notches in there will plug right in 
And I don't have my OG Dino Megazord or Titanus with me here, unfortunately, but this is a pretty decent representation. Um, it is smaller, it is missing a few features, but you know, they, they got a, a thing, so if you roll it a certain way, wait a minute. Here. So it doesn't feel or sound that good. I might be missing a step there, but it does kind of have a little foot roll feature like the original. So let's get them ready for the carrier mode here. So pop these off, unlike the original, they're a little bit different, but not too crazy there. We can remove the tail, split, there we are. And now this will open up here. That's where our Zord is gonna sit there and just also like the original guns to the side and hey we're looking pretty good i'm gonna bring in the megazord and i'll see you in the next screen so to get this guy ready it is pretty easy so you take his claws and there's kind of like little circle things here and those are just gonna peg onto his arm here one and going for number two Again, circles there. And this was a little bit finicky for me to get on. There we go, I think I got it. And then come into your Titanus here, and this black, whoopsies. And uh, don't take that part of it off, whatever you do. But take this part here, put that back in there. I hope. Did I break it? Oh, we got. Oh, there we go. We're back in business. And then that will just fit over his chest piece here, just like that. You can. No, you can. The original, you could kind of cheat the system and have him holding. No, I guess not. I know, unfortunately, you can't really sneak these in and the original you could there's just not enough or maybe okay there we go so we got one on there i think i just did my big goofy guy maybe all right and here we have him fully powered up and ready to go into the titanus and it's pretty exciting this looks a little bit bad in the original you could fit his weapons in there a lot easier so we come around to the back, put them in here, just like that. And there we go. We have him in the carrier mode here. All right, guys, and in the Ultra Zord mode, you know what? This is still a pretty awesome looking display piece on your shelf. Things are falling off, but that's okay. Obviously, I can't really hold a candle to the original, and I'd still definitely recommend getting the original especially because this set has a weirdly high aftermarket price, which just makes the quality to cost not very efficient. So having factored that in, but also having factored in, I did have a lot of fun with it and it is decent. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to go, uh, we're going to go 8.2 on this one. It's fun. It's a throwback. I do miss Bandai. I wish uh, they still had the license. And do I recommend it for your collection? You know what, maybe pass, take the money, maybe try to get a, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend the Zord Ascension Project one. That one was kind of duty, but uh, Legacy is amazing. Or, you know, try the Bandai, the, sorry, the Hasbro one. You can get it for like 60 bucks on uh, sale there. So thank you so much for being here with me today. And remember, don't let anyone or anything ever stop you from collecting.